I am so happy with how my white and gold wine glasses turned out that I decided to use the same color combination on some wooden serving spoons. These are just bamboo spoons and well, this one's a spatula. You can get on Amazon, you can get them at the dollar store, you can get them on Walmart. Easy, quick, and beautiful ways to transform something ordinary into something extraordinary. Just with resin and alcohol ink, and it's really easy, so please stay tuned, watch the video, see how I did this. It's quick, couple of minutes, I don't know, 10, 15, and um, hope you learned something new. Hey everyone, I'm Ed Beige. I'm a coastal magnolia. I live on the east coast of Florida where the ocean is my inspiration. And blue is a predominant color in a lot of what I do. But when I'm challenged by a friend to try something new, something totally out of my wheelhouse, challenge accepted, Betty. So stay tuned. Look how pretty. This is so elegant. I've pre-mixed my KS Resin Liquidy Split. You can see that. Um, I'm almost out, so I definitely need to place an order. I've pre-mixed it. Mix 40 milliliters. Put a little drip tray under here. The last time I made these, I had a little bit of resin to drip and I just like to collect the drips and make a cool drip painting so I'm going to do something different today two colors pearl white Oop. Um, ah, not pearl white it's a silver white sesso mica powder and pixis gold two colors which is really odd for me because I'm predominantly blue most everything you can see by this strip painting most everything that I do has blue blue is the ocean and so this is way different for me not these colors aren't out of my wheelhouse but they are a lot different than what I normally make but there's a first for everything, right? So I do clean my sticks when I can, when I remember, so that way I can reuse them. And all right, so I'm gonna wait for this to I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Um, this, is a, this arm is a little bit unstable. I'm gonna go ahead and apply on the front, and then I'm gonna flip and apply the back. And it's just, I don't want it to drip. I don't think it'll drip. It probably will like that. Maybe I should just do this. Oh, this pearl is, it's not pearl. It's a silver white, but it is kind of pearly. It's a very pretty color. I do use this sometimes, this mica powder, when I'm making waves. And it, um, I have gotten some really nice lacing off of this, this silver white when I'm using it for, um, you know, like a beach pour or on my resin glasses when I want some contrast and I want some some white waves it does give me really nice lacing okay i think that's probably gonna be enough i did mix extra because i am going to be making mm, turn it off i'm gonna be making some glasses too i'm gonna turn it back on i've got to oh i've got so much resin on the um on the um, switches on my cup turner that I had to kind of un unstick it with my hammer yesterday. So I need to figure out how to get the resin off of my switches. <sighs> and uh, figure out how, I think I can tape the switches 
when I'm working on a project so that when I touch them with resiny gloves, I can, um, you know, I won't get resin on the switches themselves because they were literally, literally glued shut. Okay, I think that's enough pearl. See, I'm going to keep calling it pearl. It's not pearl. These are not pearl. So that one's dripping. And then my gold. Let me shake it up. Oh, I hate handling these bottles with resiny gloves, but. Okay, now I'm going to start dropping this gold. Two colors, gold and white. do use these colors in combination with blues and oceany colors, but this is a little bit different for me. So easy. And I think I'm going to hit it with some alcohol just to see what happens. I don't know what will happen. Let's just see. Does that make a difference? I really think it does. Let's flip around and see. It doesn't really, I mean, metallic gold is so dominant anyway. Um, I'm gonna hit it with some heat. Gold is really dominating, but I knew that. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of this white and that'll help break up all that gold. Although 
I really like it. It's really marbleizing well. And that'll blend a little bit more and give it, give it some good. All right, we're gonna let that turn. I'll come back and check. Maybe I shouldn't have used as much gold. It does definitely dominate. Yeah, that looks good. All right, I'm just gonna let that spin and come back. These are really pretty. Like, I, I'm really happy with the two color gold and white. They're marbly. They look very marbled. I think these are going to sell really well. Um, this is really the only charm that stayed put and all the other ones sort of migrated over to the side. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> it's just not what I expected. So, um, only I will know the backstory. So unless I tell someone, they're not going to know that I intended to do this. Oh yeah, sure I did. So these are kind of quirky and cute, aren't they? Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye. Your spoons, your serving spoons, your kitchen spoons.